We are finally back with another gym vlog and I am so excited. Today I'm going to be hitting strictly glutes. I have not been in the gym for over a week now because my silly ass got a concussion. So that being said, I'm going to take it super easy today. Aside from having a concussion, things have been pretty good. I cannot complain. Definitely have a new appreciation for my health. I don't take my health for granted, okay? But I just feel like I have a new outlook and perspective on being able to actually go to the gym and move my body when you don't have the option to do so like when you have health problems or something wrong with you and you're limited it's the crappiest feeling ever i got so frustrated so many times during my healing process i felt like i was doing better and got really excited and then all of a sudden things would just like boom like just go straight downhill again and I felt like I couldn't even open my eyes or hold a conversation with somebody, let alone go to the actual gym. Health is obviously the most important thing and I've never lost sight of that, but this definitely checked me a little bit and I'm super excited to kick ass in the gym again. I've changed up my, <laughs> right before I got a concussion, I decided to switch up like my leg day routines and my gains. I am still bulking. With that being said, during my healing, I have not been tracking my meals. I've strictly just been focused on getting all of my meals in. So like three to four meals a day and snacks in between. We're back to tracking today, back on creatine today and my new leg day splits. Okay. So what I'm going to start doing basically now as of this week, because I started it and then was wasn't able to work out one compound leg day a week so that's where i'm gonna hit like my heavy lifts my deadlifts my squats and then i'm gonna hit glutes twice a week so technically it's like three leg days a week but not really so today i'm gonna take you through what that glute day is going to look like i'm gonna perform the same glute day twice a week for probably the next month and then just progressively overload and maybe change up like an exercise here or there but yeah i'm excited to get back in there so we've made it inside the building i'm going to do some warming up this thing's in the way fuck off so i'm starting with some 90 90s just opening up my hips oh i have the tightest hip flexors ever also not moving your body makes you tighten the heck up like i feel like i was more sore not moving my body than actually like post-workout i like to do this little stretch here it's like a half pigeon i don't really know what it's actually called kind of hold this one for like 20 seconds or so and then switch legs it honestly feels good to be back at the gym i'm just happy that i'm at this stage right now where i can actually be in a room with lights and music because if i was in a room like this three days ago i probably would have had a mental breakdown yeah i don't know if you've ever experienced a concussion before my concussion was pretty bad <laughs> and you may be wondering how i got a concussion and this is like the silliest thing ever I sat down, I was filming a reel, Instagram reel, YouTube short, whatever you want to call it. And I sat down on this machine and the machine was clearly broken because the lever came down on my head so freaking hard and just like smashed the side of my head. Thank goodness there's no blood, there was no gash, just a little bruise, but we're good. We're back and running and enough about that. Let's hold it over to the hip abductor machine. Somebody was on the hip abductor. <laughs> That's okay. Hip thrusts gonna do them <laughs> uh i'm just starting off with a plate on each side not sure if i'm gonna go heavier than that today we're just gonna get back into engaging the muscles and see really how i feel actually you know doing the motion of the uh, hip thrust let's get it all right we're locked in i like it already And three, really squeezing and holding my glutes at the top. Squeeze. And mind to muscle connection is the most important thing here. Good. All right, that feels good. Squeeze at the top, hold. That feels so good, man. I'm pushing through the base of my feet. Okay, that's good. 
I was not counting. I really was just focused on the mind muscle connection. When I say push through the base of your feet, I primarily mean right here, okay? Here and here. And that's basically like where I'm pushing through um, to really activate my glutes. <sighs> but I'm feeling it. I honestly might not even go too much heavier than that because it really hit the spot, but it feels good to get back into it. You know what the goals are, guys. We are here to grow our glutes and never look back. Have not reached my goals yet, so we are still on the bulk and eventually we're gonna cut. We're gonna cut that shit up and look like an absolute slab of meat. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's really polite to say about yourself, but that's just, that's what I feel like. I wanna look like, okay, not a slab of meat, a piece of art, like a sculpture. That's what I'm going for. Pull up the weight a little bit. Throw some like 25s, maybe just 10s. 10s on each side to start. And get myself back into this little thing here. Ah, my least favorite thing to do. I had some uh, pizza last night. I had a little switch of pizza. Not the best quality pizza, but I personally think it's pretty delicious. The goal is to let those carbs uh, go straight to my booty cheeks from today's workout. Here we go, same thing, mind to muscle connection. <sighs> Squeeze, one. <sighs> Squeeze. Three. <sighs> Four. <sighs> Hold nice and slow. <sighs> Sometimes I close my eyes so I can think about the muscle more, just focus on it. I envision it in my brain. Let's give it three more. One, two, three. Oh yeah. Yeah, we got the burn there. Definitely got the burn. Damn. Okay, contrary to what you may believe, sometimes taking time off the gym is actually better for you or exactly what your body needs. Because when I say I felt that like instantly, like that's set two and my glutes are so fired up and activated, I'm not lying. Like I haven't felt a burn like this doing hip thrusts in like months so honestly yeah like life is all about perspective and i've tried to keep my mood up this whole recovery and i think i'm i'm i'm, I'm grateful that i did because my body definitely needed some time some rest and we are back baby no headache no issues no dizziness no nausea we're back i'm only gonna do one more set still don't want to push it today up the weight by 10 and uh, let's get it. Guys, it's been two sets. Two sets. All right, and look at this pump. Check out, look, standing still. Check out that pump. Also, these shorts, I have a discount code. It's called Rich and Ripped. My discount code is Honey. Save 15% off, but come on. Pumped up already. Oh yeah, feels good to be back. I'm really not too focused on how many reps I'm doing. As you can see, I keep uh, losing count, but I'm really just focused on like getting to the last rep, if that makes sense. So really feeling it in my muscles, feeling the burn and basically kind of going until I can't go anymore, but slow, concentrated. So let's do it again. I'm gonna say it again, mind to muscle connection. Most important thing. Squeeze at the top, engage the muscles. Slow on the way down, slow on the way up. I think we got five more. Five. Four. Three, two, yep. One, bravo, crushed it. 
Now let's see if that hip abductor is free. I'm gonna start with a lighter weight and basically I'm gonna do a few different variations of like how I'm angling my body and my feet. I find that when I have my back against the machine, my core is engaged and I'm just, you know, squeezing. I feel it a little bit more in my upper glute area. And I'm gonna go a little heavier, shimmy my body forward, okay? And then when I go like this, I feel it in my lower glute area, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna do 160 pounds in this position. And similar to the hip abductor, I'm basically just focusing on squeezing mind to muscle connection and really engaging my glutes. Probably gonna do a lot of reps here. I've always found the hip abductor to be such a good staple for hitting the glutes and the booty cheeks and getting just like, you know, the juiciest pump. Fuck me. One thing that I'm noticing is that I'm sweating. Like, sweating. And I don't normally sweat this much, like, at all but apparently today is the day. The hair has to go up. I'm just like moist everywhere. My back is soaked. The side of my legs is moist. It might be the cocoa butter, but <laughs> my heart rate is definitely elevated more than usual. Probably because I'm a little out of shape. All I've been doing during the past week and a half or so is just walking my dog. Even that was hard sometimes. I would get home and have a headache. So same thing, but a little different. Coming to the front here. <sighs> really squeezing. Let me fix this thing. There we go. Nice and slow. Really squeezing mind to muscle connection. Let's up the weight. 235. Here we go. Two, three, four. Sometimes I like to feel my butt. Oh. So I can really focus on where I want to work it. Five more. Four. Three, two, one. Oh, fuck me. That was good. Got some tight hips, man. Some brutally tight hips. I just noticed that my hair doesn't fit in the camera. <laughs> My little pineapple head. Check out the pump. Looking good. I'm definitely feeling it. Like I said, this is like my go-to glute workout now for the next month. And I'm sticking to it. So if you're interested in trying it out, write it down um, and repeat it. Some of these things you can do from home. Hip abductor and like the machines, not so much. I think I have a foolproof plan right now to grow my peach. Just so freaking juicy. Okay, so I'm not gonna take you guys through the same circuit like three times, but basically I'm gonna do the same thing three times. I'm doing roughly 12 to 15 reps for each set. And like I said, just engaging the glutes, mind to muscle connection, squeezing, only focusing on the cheeks and nothing else. So I have 160 on here right now. Make sure that your core is always tight, so your core is braced. Actually, I fixed my form. I want my back to be touching the bench. That's better. Nice and slow on the way in. 
I got five more in me. One, two, three, four, five. All right, now we're shimmying up. We're gonna move it to 235. And same thing, nice and slow. Pinching forward, pausing, and coming in nice and slow. I gotta fix this again. Fucking hate when that happens. All right, hold, nice and slow on the way in. Squeeze. And if you didn't notice, I don't really take a rest in between the set. It's like a straight super set. Get into the next form, um, and then just basically as many as I can. Roughly around 12 to 15. We are now on to some glute kickbacks. I'm gonna do two different variations as a super set, and we're gonna do a total of four sets. So two sets of each variation if that makes sense. First variation, I'm just gonna show you here. We're going for light weight and just squeezing at the top, pausing, slow and controlled. Okay, that is the vibe for today's workout. So you're gonna have your foot hooked in and just kick out diagonal to the side and squeeze, hold on the top, come in nice and gentle. For the next variation, you're basically gonna be sideways this leg will be in front like that, and you're going to bring your leg out and squeeze. Here we go. We got one, two, three. Core is nice and tight. Mind's muscle connection. And we're just focused on Kicking and squeezing this glute right here. Nice and slow. I'm definitely not counting right now, but we'll start counting now. Let's give it 10. Nice and slow. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Two, last one, we're gonna pause on the top, squeeze. Nice and easy back in. <sighs> awesome. So we're supersetting on the same leg. Woo. I just had to unhook to move the camera. Anyway, supersetting on the same leg. I'm basically stepping over with my opposing leg, my opposite leg. Do I need to lighten the weight? I don't know yet. And we're kicking out and holding nice and slow on the way in, squeezing at the top. The left leg is just planted. It does nothing. Just a slight bend in the left leg. I'm gonna give it eight more, seven, six, Five, four, squeeze at the top. Three, two, and one. Oh, that was good. I'm gonna switch legs. I'll probably be at the cables for a while, so I'm not gonna bore you guys. You got you got the memo. You got what's going down. I'm gonna do a few more, two more sets, something like that. And then I'm gonna move on to my last exercise, which is going to be Smith Machine Sumo Deadlifts to really engage the juice body. My outfit today is giving Rocket Pop. You know, the Rocket Popsicles that used to get at soccer practice when the cool mom, the cool soccer mom would bring not only orange slices and watermelon, but uh, you know, a popsicle, which was usually Rocket Pops. 
big throwback. So we are on to our last exercise. I'm going to do some sumo deadlifts and really engage the glutes. Gonna have a nice wide angle, point my toes out ever so slightly. Basically from here, I'm hinging, slight bend in the knee, coming up through the glutes and really engaging and squeezing the glutes at the top. So it's gonna look something like this, really engaging the glutes. Seven, eight, nine, uh, ten. Ignore the fact that I look like cousin it when my hair goes in front of my face. That's kind of the mood today. Like how guys will wear like big hoodies and hats. You know, hair goes in the face. It's a vibe. Alter ego unlocked. All right, core is tight. Legs are close to the bar. And here we go. One. Nice and slow on the way down. Two. Good stuff. Here we go again. Three. Four. All in the cheeks. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. We got more. Pushing through the balls of the feet, just like on the hip thrust. Two more. Two. No, that's two. Last one. Good. Good shit. Oh, check out the pump again. Feels good. All in all, pretty happy with today's workout so far. We made it back, baby. We made it back. No headaches. It's the best day. It's the best day I've had in a week and a half. Pretty thrilled, to say the least. Pretty freaking thrilled. Check out the pump. Use code HONEY for 15% off any rich and ripped. Honestly, I love the shorts. They're pretty freaking dope. And they come in a lot of colors. So, yeah. Anyway, juicy. If a peach were an ass. I'm gonna do two more sets because the first one was a little wonky. I like the way my thighs look when I do this. Was it? Eight. Nine. Uh. Ten. Mm. Well, that felt uh, pretty damn good, if you ask me. Hit one more set, and then we're calling it a day. Yes, it's been a great workout. Guys, don't take your health for granted, okay? I'm sure you've been through it, having an injury before, or, you know, maybe you haven't started at the gym yet and you're procrastinating getting to the gym, go to the gym, move your body. Your body wants to be moved. And it is such an absolute privilege that we have our health and the capabilities to move our body, okay? You, sitting at home, watching this, you know, and then you're gonna go watch Selling Sunset or Keeping Up With The Kardashians or whatever. Like, <laughs> Kardashians? Freaking get a gym membership. 
move your body, get a cute gym outfit, get some, you know, BCAAs or something, whatever it is to make you feel like you are that bitch. Just get your ass in the gym, move your shit. Your body wants to move. Stop like looking at yourself in the mirror and not being happy when talking badly about yourself and all that horrible shit just needs to go out the window. Like throw it out the window, put it in the garburetor, press on and grind that shit up and never look back. I personally have never had an issue. I always love to move my body, okay? And it was torture for me to not be able to go to the gym for the past week, but I made the most of it, okay? Instead, I couldn't get my body right, but I was getting my mindset right as best as I could. And let this be a message to you to move your body before you lose it. Like, my mom said that to me when I was a kid, like, move it or you lose it. It's so true, guys. Don't take a day for granted in your body with, <laughs> with the health that you are blessed with, okay? And if you are not in the best health, still do what you can, because it could always be worse. That's it for my rant. All right, last set, wide stance. Guys, the peach is cooked, okay? She cooked, first day back, and she is cooked. Mm. Six, seven, eight, nine. 10, yep. 11, 12, almost there. Last one, here we go. Good, all right. Woo. That's it for today's workout. Feeling good. So that is pretty much it for today's workout, guys. I am uh, cooked and I feel good. I'm excited to go home and have a good night's rest today. There's nothing like hitting a really good workout and then having like the best sleep. You know, I always have better sleeps when I work out. I kind of touched on everything I want to touch on today. I'm excited to make more workout vlogs moving forward. It was soul crushing to not be able to be in the gym doing what I love most. So stay tuned for definitely weekly gym vlogs. I hope you guys like them. I hope that you can learn from them. And yeah, I'm just happy to be back. I love all of you guys so much and appreciate all of your support. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and go over to my other socials and hit that follow button because there's just so much I want to share with you all. Anyway, I'm gonna go home, walk my dog, eat some food, and take care of myself. And I suggest you do the same. Stay cool.